Hey guys, how many of you would love to improve your hitting? Well, if that's the case, stick around because we're about to reveal three amazing drills that will dramatically improve your hitting on this week's bonus session of Manly Moments. Well, if I'm honest, I absolutely love baseball and I played all the way through high school, but I never really reached my full potential at the plate. That's why I'm so excited today to have my good friend and hitting instructor, Neil DeCook, join us. How's it going, Neil? Good, Robbie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Neil actually played ball all the way through college, and now he's a private hitting instructor, and he's developed some unique hitting drills that produce amazing results. In fact, some of these drills you actually used yourself when you were in college. Yeah, that's right. My freshman year, I hit 270 and knew I needed to get better, so I did these drills uh, over, the, over the fall and then into the winter, um, and the next year I hit 390. Wow, yeah. big improvement. Well, you know, as well as I do, there are a lot of baseball videos out there. Some of them are actually pretty good, like Ultimate Baseball Training, You Go Pro Baseball. But what is it about your drills that are so special? Yeah, these drills are designed um, to build consistency, muscle memory, um, and then really good foundational skills for your, for your swing. So um, you can do them any time of year. You don't have to be outside, but you can be. But you can do them in your garage, in your basement. Um, and you're going to build fundamentals and muscle memory, and that's really what we're focusing on with these drills. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Drill number one, the balance board. What you're going to need here is a bucket of balls, a tee, and a balance board. The balance board consists of a five foot long two by four and a couple pieces on the ends to balance it. So the idea with the balance board is to do the entire swing motion and stay balanced on top of the balance board. Let me demonstrate. The whole point with this is to stay balanced through the entire swing. It will keep you from getting out of balance, stepping in the bucket, dropping your elbow. It will force you to have the correct swing path and stay balanced during your swing. Keep doing this drill over and over and it will build the correct muscle memory for your swing. Drill number two, top hand, bottom hand drill. All you need for this drill is a tee and your bat. You can even do this without a baseball if you want to. So the idea behind this drill, you're gonna choke up on the bat and start with your top hand, probably about just below halfway. And the idea is with your top hand, you want to move with a punching motion and hit just below halfway on the bottom half of the ball and focus on punching through, like this. The ball should come straight off the tee with your top hand. With your bottom hand, you can put your hand in the same spot, just below halfway on the bat. But what you're gonna focus on with your bottom hand is guiding the bat through the baseball and focus on getting the barrel to hit between the two seams on the baseball, like this. For this drill, it's okay if the ball goes up a little bit off the tee. During the season, you can do this as a warm up, do 10 swings with each hand and, and you'll be good to go. But in the off season, when you're building that muscle memory and really working hard, do 100 of these every day. Drill number three, the fence drill. All you need for this is your bat, and a wall that's okay if you get it marked up a little bit. So today, we're gonna use this fence. The first part, we put our back foot up against the fence, as you can see here. Once we're set up here, what we should be able to do is take a full swing, and the bat will not hit the fence behind us. The key to being successful in this drill is really starts with your grip. So a lot of people, when they first start playing baseball, they line up their hands like this, where you've got your, knuck, your knocking knuckles of your top hand lined up with your, your big knuckles on your bottom hand. When you do that, what happens is your, your swing's going to be long and you're going to hit the fence. The proper way to set up your grip is to line up all of your knocking knuckles together. What this allows you to do is when you swing, your hands will then be able to hinge and stay inside the ball, and it will bring your barrel to its longest point in the strike zone rather than out here over the catcher's head. So let me demonstrate. If you can do that part of the drill 10 times in a row successfully, then that's a great start. Bonus drill. As long as we're near the fence, uh, I'm gonna give you one more drill that you can do. And this again, you can do any time of year in your basement, in your garage, 
it's just an easy one to help continue to build muscle memory. So all you're gonna do with this drill, um, you're gonna take the bat, put it up against the fence like this, and then you'll stand so that your belly button is just touching the knob of your bat. All right, you're gonna take your stance right there. Now what you're gonna, what you should be able to do if, you're, if your swing is moving correctly, you have the right grip like we just talked about, and if your path is correct, you should be able to take a full swing and not hit the fence. Now that doesn't mean you're not going to have to hit pitches that are outside, but if, if your hands are staying inside the baseball where they're supposed to be, you won't hit the fence. You'll extend out in front of home plate and not back here where the catcher is. So here, let me demonstrate in slow motion. And now I'll do one full speed. Wow, Neil, it all looks so simple. It is simple, but consistency is the key. My recommendation would be to do 10 swings per drill um, every day for about a month. And um, after that, then you can lengthen it out or you can combine the drills. Pretty much let your imagination run its course, but remember to stick with these fundamentals. Hmm. Well, I've been doing it for like 30 minutes now. I think I'm ready to put it to the test. It might take a little bit longer than that. Sounds like you're a little afraid to pitch to me. I'm not afraid. It sounds like you're a little chicken. I'm not chicken. <laughs> Get your bats. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't even ready. I think I brought the wrong bat. Come on, give me a good pitch to hit. I did it, yes. I knew I had it in me. It's all part of my DNA. I mean, when it comes right down to it, I was kind of born to hit. Kind of a natural thing that I do. I really can't mess up at all. <laughs> What's the big idea, man? Just having a little fun. Huh. But remember, the key to these drills is consistency. You do these 15 minutes a day, every day, in the off season, you're gonna come out in the spring and you're gonna be hitting the cover off the ball. That's a pretty bold claim. Care to demonstrate? Thought you'd never ask. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, we better stop now, otherwise you're not gonna have enough time to pick up all the baseballs. Oh, what? Get moving. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And if you live locally in the Fort Wayne area and you'd like some personalized instruction from Neil himself, I went ahead and included his contact information in the description below. And for the record, this video can be reposted, shared, and liked without the express written consent of Major League Baseball. And we will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.